All right, today, I'm gonna talk about spots close to the road, kind of highlight one that I found here uh, on this public piece. So, I've kind of mentioned this before, but wherever there's not people is uh, gonna be a pretty good starting point for me always. And uh, this place right here is some really good deeper stuff, um, but there's some good, there's one general area that's pretty pretty good that uh, I feel like is probably overlooked, so we're going to jump into it, and uh, let's break it down. So what we got here is a bunch of muscadines, a big thicket. It's right here off of this road, and uh, a lot of people are going to go past all this stuff. They're going to go way back deep, and uh, whenever I see a spot like this, it's definitely somewhere that I'm going to pay attention to bump around in see if i see any historical sign any historical rub lines uh maybe clusters of rubs maybe it's a staging area maybe it's a spot that a buck's laying up at gonna jump in here and let's check it out you got like some a bunch of pines this way and another thicket of smaller pines that be good bedding on the other side of this and you got a little SMZ which is old creek that runs right up through the guts of it so let's get in here and see what it looks like all right so you see the back side of this bunch of dog fennel young plant of pines this is really good really good stuff for doe family groups to be laying in so any kind of wind it's blowing from that to this it sets up really good for a buck to cruise downwind of this now this is really close to the road so i could see a buck like laying in here and then working this down shooting all the way down this and scent checking this whole thing so this would be an area where i would predict he would be laying at leaving from here and cutting down through here so what i would probably do here based on the sign really this is the kind of spot i'd probably just throw a hunt or two at based off of the tendency of what i think a buck would be doing right here so i'll probably find a tree somewhere down in here that'll be good for a wind like this and uh regardless i'm gonna hunt this just because how it sets up but i'll keep going further in here i don't want to do too much walking around in there but i'm just going to poke around in here a little bit just see if i see any old historical buck sign i walked kind of deep in there i didn't see a ton of stuff that really shot out to me but the spot in general is still shooting off to me so i'm gonna go further on down and check this line to see if there's any historical like an historical rub line where he's cutting down wind all this. Let's see what we see. Hmm. Well, that would make a lot of sense. Well, just as I thought, I broke away from where I think a buck would be bedding, and it makes sense because he dropped it walking right down this way from that way. Anything blowing back towards the road? So there's a road way over there, cars going back and forth. They're used to it. This is definitely, that's all I need to see. I already was going to hunt in here, but that just solidifies 
what I already kind of knew or suspected. So I'm gonna find a tree somewhere up in here to uh, climb for this. You got a hole in the fence right here. So about right here is an area that I'm probably gonna climb that water oak right there. That could work. So that's just kind of how I process everything. This will be a place that I probably visit middle of October when these bucks start to get on that pre-rut pattern where they're searching and seeking. But uh, appreciate y'all watching this video. I guess I'll see you on the next one. Georgia starts this weekend. So y'all uh, subscribe if you haven't.